Welcome folks. All right, let's just dive right in. So the first thing I did was I took some golden fine pumice gel and some golden crackle paste, more for the texture. It's not thick enough to, um, to crackle, but I like the texture it gives. And then I sprinkled some, um, I basically reclaimed some old ballast that I had scraped up, sprinkled that on there with some a couple of little rocks that I found outside. I also took some square tubing and some sheets of styrene. Uh, I think it's 20 thou, 30 thou, I don't remember. And I made a, a little uh, uprights for it and some uh, angled styrene for cleats for the front and rear of the building. I wanted it to be able to be removable, but I also wanted it to, to be able to stay in place. So next I took some Tamiya flat black and Tamiya olive green which some is my go-to colors for uh, scenery. I like the, the shade it gives. And I, what I'm trying to do here is just give an even coat. I don't want to see any white. I don't want to paint the whole thing one solid color, but I, I want to get rid of all the white. I don't want to see any white through the scenery or through the cracks in the, in the building. Then I took some Tamiya Brown, and I'm just starting to give it a earth tone texture. Or, you know feel for the color I didn't paint the rocks I was trying to go around the rocks there but I'm trying to get a, a, a basic tone of what uh, the underlying colors are going to be while I had the brown in, loaded up in the gun I um, figured I'd redo the hinges so I went through and um, and hit the hinges again just to bring them out I'm glad I did this I think they were getting a, they were just a little too light I went over I put a little bit of a, a dark oil wash in some of the cracks and I wanted to uh, to really reinforce some of the separations between the wood so I put a, a wash of um, oil diluted oil with with thinner and where it hit the hinges it kind of diluted a little bit and it probably not the best idea to, to shoot acrylics over oil but it'll be fine I blow it off with air and dry it up so it should be fine I kind of like the effect of it next I took a mixture that I had made I try to I make like a sand color and I'll paint um, a lot of different things I'll paint uh, the ground uh, the foliage the static grass with this color too and I think it's a mix of deck tan and maybe buff. There was a couple, and it's diluted with with isopropyl. Um, just assume from now on that anything I shoot through here is going to be heavily diluted with isopropyl. It's all to me that probably about eight to two, nine to nine to one mix. It's barely any paint, mostly isopropyl. So I'm trying to set the tone because I'm going to sprinkle, come back and sprinkle this over, uh, sand over this. So I took some diluted matte medium, about 50-50 with water. I painted the ground and then I uh, had sand that I sifted. And I'm going to come in and sprinkle it over. But I'm trying to set that color for the sand. So just a very, very light dusting of sand, but I want to make sure I cover everything. It also helps, um, and I do this. I I do this over static grass sometimes to give the effect that um, the grass is growing through the ground. But you have to be careful. You have to uh, the the process of when you put glue and and sand because you don't want the sand to stick all over the static grass. So I did a I did shake and I didn't show that there was a there was a couple things I missed in the filming of this. But I didn't show, I do have two millimeter static grass, very sporadic, because I wanted it to look like it was growing through the grass. Now, this isn't for the faint of heart, and I don't suggest everybody does this, because it could, it could totally fail on you, but I was prepared for that. I spray the whole thing down with isopropyl. <clears throat> I did it because I want the blend. I want the blend of colors. Here's a little bit more madness. I was trying to uh, come up with something that I could put in the scene that kind of went with a farmhouse. And so this is what I came up with. It was it was kind of a tiny 
little thing, challenge to build, but uh, I think it makes the scene. So I painted it black and then brown, and then I painted it with the, the tan color. I always try to uh, balance the colors. So I'll reuse colors that I've used in part of whatever scene I have. This was really hard to try to do this on camera. I almost gave up, but I think now you get the, the feel of, of where I'm going with this. So that's pretty much it. Here's the birds. Enjoy the photos.